Hi, I'm Jordan Lindsay with Montgomery Community Media, and I have Captain Jordan joining me from the Montgomery County Police Department. We're going to be talking about the protests that are going on, not only throughout the nation, but specifically here in Montgomery County. So, Captain Jordan, can you tell me overall, what is the climate like when it comes to protests uh, right now in Montgomery County? Well, uh, the protest climate, uh, I mean, it's, uh, with the protests, it's not really a big issue. It's uh the violence and looting and stuff that we're starting to see across the nation that is that's where we get tense and i think that's where everyone is tense and i know that uh, for a majority of the protesters they, they don't support the the violence and the crime that that are seem to be following this because it doesn't speak to the message it doesn't uh, get anybody anywhere um but for an overall climate i think we're, we're, everyone's, I think, a little tense because uh, they, they don't want that element of crime, you know, following it and, and distorting the message that's out there. Thank you for that. So a lot of pictures we've been seeing of the different protests that are starting to pop up um, throughout the county, they have been looking peaceful overall. Um, so can you distinguish the fact and the difference between um, protesters and rioters and looters and vandalism? Well, uh, the people that are protesting or demonstrating, they have a message um, and they want to be heard. And we fully support that. We fully support the constitutional rights that you have, you know, the First Amendment right to, to exercise that freedom of speech. We, we totally support that. And when we have officers on the ground and officers, you know, supporting that, um, it, it's, we want to make sure everyone's safe. We don't want anyone injured. We, we want everyone to be able to exercise their rights. Um, freely, openly, and without, you know, fear of violence. Um, and we're there to protect everyone. And certainly, you know, we don't want to be attacked. We don't want the protesters being attacked. Um, so that's why we're there. We want to make sure everyone goes home safe. Um, so, you know, that's just one of the elements that's, that's, that's out there with us. Um, but when you talk about looting and burning, you know, arson, and, and those are crimes. Those are just flat outright crimes. And the violence. Um, I, I've seen videos from across the nations of store owners that are they're just trying to protect their livelihood and they're getting beat up so badly and hurt so badly. Um, and what's the message there? You know, I, I, I'm, we're not seeing that. That's just crime. Um, and I understand that people have talked about the anger uh, within the community that, that people feel. But there has to be a better way to express it. And I think a lot of people are looking at a better way to express their anger. And that's through peace and dialogue and moving forward. And everyone seems to be on the same page with that. Everyone seems to want that. Great. So uh, that goes to my next question. Have you guys seen any um, increase in maybe potential looting or vandalism? And if not, what are, you, what are police doing to protect store owners or stores from, from that happening? Right, we, we, are, uh, we are in a con constant state of readiness. We have uh, personnel that's available at a moment's notice to respond to these events. And, you know, obviously we're at a heightened state of awareness right now. Um, we have not seen uh, uh, the, the violence and the, the destruction that we've seen down in DC, um, thankfully. And, you know, we have seen on our second district border down near Friendship Heights, uh, We've seen some vandalisms down there, um, but nothing on the scale that we're seeing down in DC. Um, but we are having our, our people deployed and out there um, to make sure that everyone's safe and you know, property's not being destroyed and we're doing everything we can to protect the people in Montgomery County and the property that's in Montgomery County as well. Thank you for that. Now, when it comes to policies and I guess complaints uh, if anybody had a complaint against police, um, in light of what happened in Minneapolis, um, what is the um, MCPD doing to, I guess, prevent that from even happening in this area? Are there policies in place to prevent that and transparency of any sort? Right. Uh, with our, if somebody has a complaint or a compliment, they can notify our internal affairs division. We're constantly investigating. We're constantly updating things. Um, but one of the biggest things that uh, that we have on our department is our training. Our training doesn't speak toward uh, some of the, the things that were done in Minneapolis. We don't train that way. That's not, uh, in fact, I can't think of any departments that are really training that way. Um, so it, it's about having the sensitivity mindset, having the de-escalation mindset, uh, the proper training, the proper defensive tactics. 
um, and and just common sense of knowing you know you know what to do out there. It, it we do a lot with our training to make sure that 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 is accomplished. Um, but you know what we saw in Minneapolis was was nothing indicative of what our officers are trained and the mindset that we you know instill in our officers. Is there anything else you'd like to add in regards to all of this? Yes, uh, just just a call for peace, a, a call for dialogue, and. Uh, you know, we want the same thing that the community wants, and that is open communication lines, uh, a, a way forward through all this is, is what we're looking for. And, you know, you'll find that when you sit down with us, we're just like everyone else. Um, you know, we shouldn't, you know, paint with broad strokes uh, the community or the police or, or anything for, for that matter, because not everyone fits a mold. Um, but we are looking for a peaceful dialogue, and we know a lot of the demonstrators and protesters, they're looking for a peaceful dialogue as well. In fact, we've seen across the nation uh, people trying to commit acts of violence or looting, and the protesters themselves, you know, saying, no, that's not what we're here for. And I commend that. That is, that is admirable. There have been great shining moments of good people doing great things. Um, but unfortunately, in a crisis like this, we're also seeing uh, people doing bad things, make, making it even worse. Um, so we have to offset that as best as we can. And peace, dialogue, and moving forward, that's, that's the path. That's what we have to do.